Thanks, Tony, but there's no way I could sing it the way you do. You got a great voice. Because I'm the best of the best. You know, I'm better than good. I'm the freshest of the fresh coming out of the hood. <laughs> You'd be really hard to stomach if you weren't so modest. <laughs> Check out these moves. Tiffany, choke! Oh, bless you. Flowers for me? Cool. Are you okay? I don't know. I'm constantly sneezing on this job. Well, maybe you're allergic to flowers. You think? Ooh. <laughs> Once upon a time, I wish you were mine. Signed your undercover lover. <laughs> So sweet, a secret admirer. Well, they're beautiful. I wonder who sent them. Guys, I did it. You? You sent me flowers? Huh? Why would I send you flowers? You're not dead. <laughs> I have just convinced Sharky to let us play here this Saturday night. Well, how much do we have to pay him? Nothing. He's paying us. No, man, I'm not talking burritos. I'm talking money. I'm talking simoleons, wampum, do re mi. Try 150 smackaroonies. Oh, yes! Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tony, now that we got this gig, it's a great chance to do your song. Man, oh, I've been waiting for this for a long time. I'll check you guys later. I got to tell somebody the good news. Who, Jasmine? No, my dad. <laughs> Did you see that game? We killed them. Oh, you not only killed them, man. You buried them, dug them up, and killed them again. <laughs> great coach, Dad. Well, it's a team effort. But, uh, yeah, you're right. I am good. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see me, coach? Oh, Dirk, great screen pass you threw today. <laughs> Actually, that one slipped. It was supposed to be a bomb. Oh, well, then go do 20 laps. <laughs> <laughs> So what's up, son? We got a gig at Sharky's on Saturday night. I'm doing a solo. Hey, that's great. Good for you. So you come check us out then, right? Sorry, I got to scout next week's rival. It's an important game. Well, my singing is important, too. No, a job is important. Supporting my family is important. Your rock and roll fantasy is not important. It's not a fantasy, Dad. I love music. It's what I'm all about. Tony, I busted my tail to get us to a place where you'd have a better chance than I had. But, Dad... You got to start thinking about your future, son. You got a shot here. Don't blow it. Think about doing something more practical, like uh, play, play football. football. It could lead to a scholarship. You got great hands. You were the best wide receiver in junior high. I was so proud of you. Well, now you can be proud of me for something else. Come to Sharky Saturday night. I already told you. I'm busy. Aww. All right. Fine. Later, Dad. Mm -hmm. With a little practice, you could be pretty good. Thanks, Tiffany. Hey, I'm starting a band, and I need a bass player. Want to join? Well, I'm sort of in a band already, but thanks for the offer. You're starting a band and didn't even ask your own big brother to be in it? Get real. You're not blonde and beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, looks like your secret admirer strikes again. This time, Candy. Hey, aren't you the same guy that brought me flowers? Yeah, but I quit that job and got this one. It's great. You're gonna love this candy. You can't eat just one. Thanks a lot. 
You want some? Yeah. <laughs> It's the thought that counts. <clears throat> I love you so much, I'm a basket case, but I'm too scared to say it to your face. <laughs> this is so romantic. Because it's fired up, it's Blossom Windows. I have. Tony, what's wrong? Wrong nothing, why? Oh, come on, I can always tell when you're upset because you do that cute little bunny thing with your nose. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. My hard-headed pigskin for brains old man thinks I'm a life-wasting hedge in the clouds chump. So what am I supposed to do? Do? I don't even know what you said. <laughs> My father thinks the band's a big waste of time and that I should join the football team. What? How could you do that? Between your job at Sharky's homework and football practice, you wouldn't have time for the band. I know. But Tony, I love music. Yeah, but I want my dad to dig what I do. What child doesn't? <laughs> You're just going through a typical parent-child pressure syndrome. Believe me, at our age, no parent is proud of their kids. Yeah, you think our dad likes this? He's always telling us to knock off that racket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> hey, gang. Your mom just told me about you playing at Sharky's. I think that's great. <laughs> dad, don't you want to tell us to knock off the racket? No way. I love your music. I'm proud of you guys. <laughs> Tony, Tiffany, I bet your folks are real proud of you too, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you will be as soon as I join the football team. I guess I'm out of the band. Oh. Tony, wait. Tony. Nice going, Dad. What did I say? <laughs> I can't believe Tony quit the band. He loves the drums. Wow, Sly. It's nice to see you care about a friend's feelings. Who cares about feelings? The selfish bum ruined the gig. <laughs> Sly, you are without a doubt the most insensitive, inconsiderate, insidious maggot I've ever met. You're right, Jenny. Maybe we should take a moment to reflect on what Tony really meant to our lives. Okay, time's up. Boo-hoo, I feel terrible. How can we find a new drummer? We can't just replace Tony. It wouldn't be the same. Hey, guys. Hey, Tony. Hey, Tony, how was your first day of football practice? Oh, great. If you like a bunch of raw meat eating missing link jock straps using your hand as a dance floor. <laughs> you could always come back to the band. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I can't do that. Oh, I get it. You can have gorgeous groupies all over you, or you can roll around in the mud with Butch, Bruno, and Bubba. Mmm, makes sense to me. <laughs> if you guys had seen the look on my dad's face when I told him I wanted to play football, you'd understand. So what if I hate it? Hey, Tony. I'll check you guys later. Me and my pop's gonna have a couple of protein shakes. Hey, hey, hey. hey Tony. Great practice today. Yeah, I forgot how much I love playing football. Yeah, and it really showed out there. You really impressed Butch, Bruno, and Bubba. <laughs> All right, Sly. Find us a new drummer. You won't regret this. Jenny, have either of you been using my credit card? No. no. Sly? Mr. Garrison, you wound me. <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. Oh, I understand. My dad does it all the time. <laughs> well, somebody's been using my credit card. Go easy on him, Dad. Yeah. There's a couple of strange charges here. We've got flowers and a candy gram. Wasn't me. Yeah, me either. Strange. Sly, would you mind taking a lie detector test? <laughs> Just kidding. For now. Dennis. Well, that solves the mystery of Tiffany's secret admirer. <laughs> well, you gotta admit the kid is sharp. Why? Because he sent her flowers and candy? No, because he didn't spend his own money. I can't believe Dennis has a crush on me. That is so cute. Yeah, but... You gotta let him down gently. Because if you don't, it might turn him off to relationships for the rest of his life. He'll wind up a lonely, depressed hermit living in a cave and scrounging for nuts and berries. No pressure, though. I know. I read an article in Sports Illustrated about the Cleveland Indians and what it's like to be the losingest team in baseball. <laughs> What's that got to do with Dennis? Everything. He's never gonna get to first base. <laughs> What's it like in there? <laughs> Hey, how's it going? 
Hey. hey Tony. What's up? I figured I'd stop by to see how the auditions went. Well, they weren't exactly. They were great. Really? No, they all stink. Please come back to the band. Please, please, please. <laughs> as much as I love watching you beg, Sylvester, I can't. Me and my dad are getting along better than ever. How could things be better with your dad, Tony, if you're not being honest with him? Oh, come on, man. Why do you have to be that way? Because you're acting like an idiot. Why? Because I want my dad to be proud of me? Oh, who are you kidding, Tony? Your dad's not proud of you. He's proud of some football player. Are you okay, son? Yeah. How many fingers? Three. Good. That's quite a hitch you took out there. And I don't want you to feel bad about that fumble. Fumble! Oh, oh, no! <laughs> We're in the locker room. Oh, yeah. I'm okay now. I gotta get back out there and play. Ah! Oh, my arm. What's wrong? I don't know. I must have landed on it. Ah! Ah, it's just a sprain. Hey, you forget about practice, huh? Ah! And uh, take it easy for a while. Uh, you'll probably have to miss the next game. Oh, no. I'm sorry, Dad. <laughs> There's nothing to be sorry for. You gave your all out there, and I'm proud of you. I'm proud of me, too. Sly, there's no way this guy can replace Tony. Okay, I know he doesn't exactly fit the dream's image. <laughs> but we only need him for one gig. Then we can dump him. Shh, Sly, he's right there. You might hurt his feelings. Nah, he's a little nuts from playing drums with his head. Isn't that right, Sheldon? Why'd you call me Sheldon? Because that's your name. Oh, all right. <laughs> Wait, do I know you? <laughs> Tiffany, you haven't told Dennis yet, have you? How'd you know? <laughs> because I just saw him upstairs doing a home alone with my father's aftershave. Ah! <laughs> well, maybe Mac can whip up a little breakup ditty. Bad news is always nicer with music. What, do you mean something like... I like you, Dennis, but it's not cool. So call me when you graduate from nursery school. <laughs> Works for me. I don't think your parents hugged you enough when you were a baby. <laughs> Tony, what happened? Oh, Bubba decided to throw his weight around during practice. Unfortunately, he threw it on my arm. Oh, Ow. Ouch. Oh, hey, hey, it's no big thing. See, then this way, I don't have to play football anymore. And me and my dad are still cool. In fact, we're going to the movies tonight. Gee, maybe if you break your leg, he'll take you camping. <laughs> Antoine, allow me to introduce you to Sheldon Greenblatt. He's our new drummer. Sheldon, that's Tony. He used to be our drummer. Oh, okay. Where are you going? No, you said he's the drummer. Oh, man, I said he used to be the drummer. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't replace me with this ratty-haired, heavy metal oatmeal brain. <laughs> he was the best we could find on short notice. Okay, let's start with Rain. Hey, you can't play that without me. That's my song. We have no choice. The gig Saturday. Sheldon, kick it off with that drum intro. wrong with your arm it's time to stop lying come in hey this might give it all you got no pain no gain guy are we hitting the movies or what 
Um, yeah. Yeah, we are. But uh, before we go, I need to talk to you about something. Sure thing. Hey! <laughs> yeah, okay. I, um, I want to... Oh, wait. Uh, this isn't about the birds and the bees, is it? No. No, I'm down on that one. Trust me, Dad. <laughs> cool. Look, I want to talk to you because I think I'm going to have to quit the team. <laughs> what are you talking about? A sprained elbow is nothing. You'll be back out there in no time. No, no, no. I'm not quitting because I have to. I'm quitting because I want to. I'm not really hurt. You lied to me. Well, you're benched. Oh, you don't get it, do you? The only reason I joined the team in the first place was to make you proud of me. And I am. You're great out there. But I was only doing it for you. I love music. Even since I was a little kid, I was always drumming around on the pots and pans. Yeah, you drove me and your mother crazy. <laughs> I'm a musician, Dad. I want to go back to the band. The band? Hey, you're not a band. You're a bunch of kids wasting time in a garage. That's the stupidest thing I ever heard of. Well, how would you know? You never heard us play. You never even gave us a chance. Well, I gave your football a chance, and I hated it. It's time for me to do what I want, whether you're proud of me or not. Well, fine. And go do it in your room. Fine! Uh, this is my room. <laughs> wasn't the same without you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about your dad. Oh, hey, it's cool. You were right, Matt. It wasn't being me. Oh, man, how did my cymbal get all dented? Well, Sheldon got a little carried away during one of his drum solos. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? Just warming up. Well, uh, could you do it over there? You're embarrassing us. Gotcha. I'm cool. I'm happy then. Come on, homeboy. Oh, isn't that sweet? Dennis came to see his woman perform. Did you figure out how to tell him yet? Yeah, I found a great article on crushes and positive reinforcement in psychology today. I know exactly what to say. Okay. Dennis, may I speak with you? Sure. It's very common for males your age to become fixated on older members of the opposite sex. Huh? Now, what you have to understand is that there are no common interests between our two peer groups. What? Look, I know you're my secret admirer, and you're a great kid, Dennis, but it just wouldn't work. Why not? I'm too old for you. Do you understand? Yeah, I guess. But can I ask you a favor? Sure, go ahead. Could you give me a kiss? Sure. Ask you another favor? Sure. Could you give me 50 bucks so I can pay my dad back for the flowers and candy? <laughs> Jenny's right. You have definitely been hanging around Sly way too much. Oh, Dennis. <laughs> Groupies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce California Dream. <laughs> Let's do it. Situation. Oh no. 
Son, there, Darren. Yeah, I guess I do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. What are you doing here, Dad? I came to say that I was out of line. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. No, it's not. I had no right to tell you what to do with your life. I just didn't want you to make the wrong choice. And from the looks of it, you haven't. <laughs> oh, guys. As much as I like watching two men hug, mm, I got a show to do. Hey, I'm proud of you, son. 